Now we've got to put this inside. Okay. This one is ready. We are almost ready, but we got a problem here. So what's the problem? Everything that you can buy in Europe, they are made in millimeters. But this is from USA, so it's made in inches. So this cannot go inside. So I will try to heat it up and put it inside. We will see. How I have solved this problem is uh, I took another hose that it is bigger than the other that I got and I have put uh, the one inside the other and I have put silicone to seal it so from here we are not losing any air and I have put it here with a silicone and a clamp and it's perfect so at the beginning I was having this bowl but because the edges are not sharp and it's not uh, perfect here and it's a little bit curved also when it goes at the chamber then when it goes down it wasn't so easy to hold it and put it out so I have bought this bowl that it has got sharp edges and it's cut it in a machine so this is a perfect circle and it is the edges are not curved and it's quite cut it in a machine so this is a straight and then I have made this seal I will show you how we take food color whatever color we want we drop it in our bowl just with our with an eye we don't we don't have to measure it then you add the silicone We have put uh, a lot of color, so let's add a little bit more silicone. Let's close our silicone. We pour our uh, corn uh, in our second uh, bowl. Now we take uh, stuff and we mix the color with the silicone until uh, all the silicone takes uh, the color that we have put. Be aware that it, uh, when the silicone starts to cure you have got a lot of gases and uh, bad smell so be in a place that you have a lot of air that is, it is well ventilated so now that we got all the color in our silicone this was a mistake that I have done that I've dropped it with my hand and I have regretted it a lot. You should take the stuff that you was mixing it and drop it to the to the corn. And then you should, uh, with the same stuff that you have dropped it in the corn, you should uh, 
put it from all the sides because right now what I have done is that all the silicone gets in my hand and they got so dirty that it took me hours to clean my hands. You first make the seal. You put it on your bowl to take the shape. You put it a little bit in your wood and you leave it and press it to take the shape. Then you turn it back. You leave it at your bowl for two to three hours. You remove it from the bowl. You put it on your wood with some uh, silicone to seal it good. And then you put your chamber on when you have it with the silicone. And you leave it like this for one day. So everything will be sealed. So when all this stuff has been done, it's time to test it. Look at this, it's growing so much, <laughs> I think it will explode. Whoa, look at this, explode, 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 oh my god, look how big it has been. Is it going to explode? Whoa, that's crazy. That's so insane. <laughs> uh, is it going to explode? Come on, explode. Seems like it's not going to explode. So now let's close the pump. Release the valve. <laughs> that was awesome. I have put a shock on my exhaust of my pump because the oil is coming out. Because this pump is working with oils. And we've got our shock here so we don't breathe so much oil plus every time you are going to use your vacuum chamber you must be sure that you got some oil inside also you must be changing the oils every now and then so you are sure that your pump will be healthy so that was the DIU for how to make your vacuum chamber Give this video a like if you enjoy it. Also if you are going to do a vacuum chamber that is something like this that I have showed you. Don't forget to send me a photo in my Facebook page. Thank you for watching and see you next time.